Welcome to the Leadership Purpose with Robin podcast. I'm your host, Robin L. Owens, PhD. And this is where we dive in each week to give advice, tools, and tips for high achieving women leaders. And we talk about leadership purpose and its importance for you. I am a college professor, and when I am not doing that, I am speaking, writing, coaching, mentoring, and teaching high achieving women leaders how to find and not only find, but how to stay in alignment with their leadership purpose so they can make a meaningful difference right there in their career, leadership, or business. Okay, let's dive in. Before we get into the episode, I have an exciting invitation for you. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Robin, and I want to let you know and invite you to a new group I started. It's called the Leadership Purpose Community, the Leadership Purpose Community. And it's a group that I think would be a really good fit for you as a listener of the podcast, because it's an extension of the podcast. And we discuss a lot of the issues we do in the podcast and even more. And we'll be focusing on finding fulfillment in our work through leadership purpose. We'll address issues that face high achieving women, issues and challenges And we also will celebrate the achievements of high achieving women. And you know, as I always say, what I mean by high achieving women, women who are professional, ambitious, goal oriented, doing all the things and supporting everyone else. This group is for you. And so I think you'd really enjoy it. And I'd love to have you come and join us. Love, love, love to have you come and join us. So if you're interested, come on over to Facebook and search for the Leadership Purpose Community, or go directly to the website, www.facebook.com slash groups slash Leadership Purpose Community. Again, www.facebook.com slash groups slash Leadership Purpose Community. I'd really love for you to join us. Hope to see you there. Okay. Let's get to the episode. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Leadership Purpose with Dr. Robin podcast. We're so glad you're here and that you take time out of your day to listen in. We really, really appreciate you for helping us become one of the most popular podcasts. We rank in the top 10% of over 2 million podcasts globally. Thanks to you and for listening in. So really appreciate you and glad you're here. And today I'm talking with Jennifer Sullivan. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Jennifer Sullivan. She is the co-owner and head writer of Jen's Pen. Jen's Pen is a company that helps people who help people help more people in less time by using their knowledge, wisdom, and personal experience to create a book that will give them greater credibility and visibility. Jen is also an emotional wellness influencer. And she has a series of videos on Facebook Live called Becoming Untethered. She uses her own emotional challenges often as she's having them to show others that they have a choice in how they react to their own thoughts and feelings. And you can find those videos in her newly founded Facebook group called Becoming Untethered. Welcome, Jennifer Sullivan. Thank you, Robin, for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. It's an honor. It's so good to have you here. I'm looking forward to our conversation. Let's just jump right in. Let's do it. Let's do it. (laughs) Okay. So tell us, tell us a little bit about you first and then tell us about the work you do. Well, I come from a very like artistic, creative type background. I I was trained as an actor. Um, That was my first passion, but then I got into writing and directing and filmmaking. And I always love to do art, visual art, photography, all that stuff. And then as an adult, you know, you, you have to kind of find a way to make that stuff make you money. I have found, this is a very shortened version of the story, but I have found a lot of creative fulfillment as well as helping people fulfillment in the work that I'm doing right now, which is helping people put their knowledge into a book form so they can help people, help more people. And uh, yeah, and so, so they can have something to give people who are having whatever their particular problem they deal with is here you go. Here's the book. And by the way, if you want to work with me, you can come work with me. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And you said you started out very creative, lots of creativity and that kind of stuff. Tell us a little more about your journey from there to here. 
Well, um, as I said, I kind of, I grew up acting. I was one of those kids that when I started talking, I started talking about being an actor. That was like one of my first conversations. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it was pretty much the, the, the focus of my entire life up until my early thirties. And I was doing, I mean, like I, I, you know, I did theater all throughout high school and then I majored in theater and, and acting in college. I have my master's degree in filmmaking, which I did so that I could become like the best actor to work with. But then also I love filmmaking and I love writing. And a part of all of this is you, you, you learn to write a lot of different ways. You know what I mean? You, I know I, I have a, an award-winning screenplay. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, so I know how I write that, um, of course, in school with the master's degree, but also uh, with my secondary major, which was psychology, you learn to, to, to write in an academic way. I write stories and all these other things that I, I've always done for myself. And then as I got older and I, I came sort of came out into the world and began acting, I actually did really well and was, was really gaining momentum um, until I self started self-sabotaging. And uh, that threw me way off. And I went down for the count with depression for like a good 10 years. Um, yeah, it was bad. And I was able to actually silver lining for COVID for me, at least, was that I was able to stay at home and actually think about my mental health. And I was actually able to lift myself out of that depression. But then, you know, to stay out, I knew that there were, there was a lot of help that I needed. So I found this group that I'm a part of now called the Alchemist Nation. And the man who runs it, uh, Walter Amarello, actually became my mentor and my business partner. Um, and how that happened was we were kind of looking around the community for what I could be doing to make money. Cause a main problem was I was having, when you're depressed, you can't really do much. And I was having serious financial issues and I didn't know how to solve the problem. So when I, when I found the Alchemist Nation and Walter, who's, you know, a real estate guy, but he knows all about wealth building and, and entrepreneurial endeavors and stuff like that. He's, he came up with this idea because we have this community of a lot of uh, helpful people, service providers and stuff. And he's like, you know what, we need someone to write these people's book because a lot of these people here need books. So that was like, oh. <laughs> that's and that's what started Jen's pen. So that's that's what we're doing now is we're finding people who help people and writing their books. Yes, yes. And you know, there's so much richness in that story. I'm imagining, you know, some people who may be listening will say, you know, they might be in the middle of it, you know, like how am I going to get myself out of this? And to hear that you <sighs> got yourself out of it and the way life happens, it brought you someone in a community that helped you think of doing something new that now ushered you into this whole new direction. It's so true. I mean, like, honestly, I get goosebumps thinking about it because while I was in the depression and while all the stuff was happening, I was all I, the thought that came, came to me that really just was what I kind of clung to was like one day, I don't know why this is happening, but one day there's going to, I'm going to realize the reason <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. And I don't know what it's going to be, but one day I'm going to be like, Oh, that's why all this is happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yes. and that was, that was really what carried me through. And then that's honestly become my passion now that I'm out of the depression part. I realized when I came out of the depression and I, I went through the first emotional crisis that I had coming out of the de depression, which was a breakup, I realized I needed to, to deal with my thoughts and my emotions in a completely different way than I used to, because otherwise I was going to go way back down. And so I started, it's, it, it somehow evolved. That I started turning the Facebook camera on because I'm an actor and I like the camera and I have no problem being on, on, doesn't matter what I look like. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Camera, fine. I started turning the camera on anytime I was having a hard time dealing with things. And at first it was just the breakup. And um, it, I just would come on and talk about where it was feel where I was feeling it in my body and how I was processing it. And, you know, the different, just everything that you can think of to help me get through it with the hope that this is going to reach people who, who were having similar issues, having difficult times emotionally and, uh, and, and show them that there's a different way and that there's help and there's hope, like you can get out of it. You can. Yes. Yes. And you, I'm sure you are an inspiration for them to see you and your journey. And that gives them inspiration to know that they can come through in their journey. And so you're doing some very interesting things. You have kind of, uh, both of your kind of directions going there, helping people in the end is the common denominator. So just either one, you can talk about one or both. Tell us 
what you enjoy most about the work you're doing? Well, with Jen's pen, the the books, I love meeting new interesting people like we met. You yes. know what I mean? You were you were on my program for Jen's pen because you have an interesting story and you help people. That's what my my program is all about, Jen's Pen Life. And I love meeting new people, finding out about them and, and listening to their stories. I love it. At heart, I'm a storyteller and, and hearing people's stories is so much fun for me. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could relate, of course, because that's what I'm doing in this moment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what we do. Listening to your story and, you know, I'm always inspired and encouraged and motivated by each person and that I talk to and, and especially you in this case. All right. So um, I created this podcast for what I call high achieving women. I was thinking about women who are ambitious, professional, goal oriented, responsible, could be in a leadership role that's official or unofficial, but they're the ones that typically support other people professionally and personally. And they don't get the support normally. They don't get support because like one of my other podcast guests said, they make it look easy. Like people feel like they don't need any help, you know, because they have arrived at whatever they're doing. And so I thought, well, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be a wonderful idea to create a podcast where they could hear from other high achieving women and a few good men (laughs) 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 on, you know, just some helpful hints on um, just keep going basically. And so that's my question to you. So out of any area of your experience, professional, personal, what's one piece of advice or a helpful hint or tip you would give to the woman that I just described? Oh, one. Okay. So one would be, I guess the biggest one is mindset. Check your mindset. Things don't have to be terrible <laughs> all the time. You know what I mean? If you look for the good things, you'll find the good things. And a lot of times, especially as women, we're told what we're supposed to do and who we're supposed to be and what the qualities of a good woman are. And a lot of that, a lot of times that is not helpful to us. <laughs> and uh, I think it's really important to spend time looking at your mindset and not taking for granted the stuff that you believe to be true. Um, Or that even that you believe certain things, like you might not even know what your beliefs are and you should spend some time doing some deep dives and um, figuring that out and, and tweaking them to what they need to be. And a lot of times that means reaching out to support systems. Yes. Support systems are so important. Absolutely. And as you know, my work has to do with leadership purpose, right? Right. So when you hear the term leadership purpose, what comes to your mind? Um, What comes to my mind is like finding something you're really passionate about and being a leader there. Whatever it is that you have the heart to help, to, to improve, to do whatever your heart tells you that that's what you're supposed to do. Go after that and you will become a leader. Yes. Yes. And do you think having that sense of leadership purpose is important? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that having a feeling of ownership of yourself and what you're doing is key. And I think just in by doing that, by doing that, you become a leader, even of just your own life. But then when you strive and you you accomplish the things that you set out to accomplish, other people look to you and they think, I can do that too. You know, if, if they can do that, it's really, it's really important. It's like, like with my uh, emotional wellness series, I, it's funny that you said that um, a lot of times people look at high achieving women and they say, oh, well, they're there, they're special. They were able to do it. I'm not able to do it. That's like a key motivator for me in the emotional wellness series that I do, because I know as a person who was depressed, if someone told me, oh, I got out of depression and this is how I did it, I would be like, well, they're special. Like I, I can't do that. But with my series, I turn on the camera when I'm having a hard time and I just, or, or I just had a hard time and and I want to describe what it was like and how I'm getting out of it or how, you know, I got out of it so that people can see like, Hey, I feel like that. And she's doing this about it. You know what I mean? So for me, that's a passion. That's a strong, strong passion because I do not want anybody to have to suffer those dark, dark places. And when you have a passion like that, you are going to become a leader, you know? Yes. Yeah. And that's what's going to keep you going. Even if you, you get discouraged, you know, you have to have a purpose. That purpose is that if that's your North star, 
you keep going, even, even when you're, you don't feel like you can, you can, even when you doubt yourself, if you look to that North star and you say, this has to get done, someone has to do this and no one else is. So I'm going to go do it. Like that will keep you going. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. Jennifer. All right. So the time is going by so fast. Is there anything that I didn't get a chance to ask you or something that just popped on your mind right now? One more thing you want to say before we tell people how they can get in touch with you. Just, I think if you focus on helping others and use, and you switch your mindset to the like growth mindset, like the, I can do this mindset. And then you focus on helping others. Abundance will come your way and you'll become a leader naturally. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Now tell everyone where they can, you know, hear more about you and get in touch with you or follow your work. Well, if you want to get in touch with me with, for Jen's pen, you can go to my Facebook page, which is at Jen's pen books. So that's pretty easy. Or you can email me at Jen's pen books at gmail.com. That's one pen. So Jen's pen books at gmail.com. Um, and if you want to see my Becoming Untethered series, you can go to my group at Becoming Untethered on Facebook. Okay. And I'll be sure to have those in the show notes so everybody can have that. All right, Jennifer, also known as Jen's pen. Pen. <laughs> One pen. <laughs> One pen. <laughs> Thank you for being here and taking time out of your day and sharing from your heart and your passion and your, your care for people. Really appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. It's been so much fun. I'm glad. Okay, everyone. And if you want to hear more about me, you can contact me on my website, robinlowens.com, robinlowens.com, or you can reach me on social media. I'd love to have a message from you. All channels, any channel, pick your favorite one, and you can find me at Robin L. Owens, PhD. Robin L. Owens, PhD. And I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you thought about the podcast or what your favorite topic was. Just send me a message. (laughs) Okay. Until next time, this is Dr. Robin. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Leadership Purpose with Robin podcast. If you enjoyed it, head on over and rate and subscribe so you never miss an episode. New episodes drop every week, and I can't wait to hang out with you again soon. Meanwhile, this is Robin signing off. See you next time.